how to make this adaptive panel with dynamic attractor point in Revit, without using the dynamo, no complicated script and formula needed, in just simple steps. Without wasting too much of your time, let's start. Open the Revit. Open a new family. And select the metric generic model adaptive. Open. Select point element. Pick two reference points as shown. Select the two reference point. Make it adaptive. Then select spline through points. Then check is reference line. Select point element. Pick at midpoint. Select the circle. Then select set work plane. Set this plane. Then pick reference point. Draw a circle. Select the circle. Then check is reference line. Select point element. Pick at the quadrant. Select the two reference point. Then select spline through points. Then check is reference line. Dimensions. Select diameter dimension. Then select the circle. Select the dimension. Then select new parameter. Select instance. Name it. Diameter. OK. Slice or type SL for shortcut. Slice the circle. Select the line. Start point pick here. End point pick here. Next. Trim or type TR for shortcut. Trim the circle. Then delete the line. Select this reference point. Change the NCP value to 1. Next. Select point element. Pick two reference points as shown. Select this reference point. Change the NCP value to 0.4. Then select associate family parameters. Select new parameter. Name it. NCP fold. Select instance. OK. OK. Select this reference point. Change the measure from beginning to end. Change the NCP value to 0.4. Then select associate family parameters. Then select NCP fold. Select this two reference points. Then select spline through points. Then check is reference line. Repeat the process. Next, select this three reference lines, then select create form. Rotate the view. Select this three reference lines, then select create form. Go to family types. Let's test the parameters. Change the NCP value to 0.2 and change the diameter to 1000 millimeters. Apply. OK. Perfect. Uncheck shared. Then check always vertical. Save the family. Name the family. Save. Next. Open a new family. And select the metric generic model adaptive. Open. Select point element. Pick seven reference points as shown. Select this reference points. Make it adaptive. Select this reference point. Make it adaptive. Move this reference point. Select this two reference points. Then select spline through points. Then check is reference line. Dimensions. Then select set work plane. Set this plane. Select this reference plane. Select this reference point. Select the dimension. Then select new parameter. Select instance. Name it. Attractor distance. OK. Select this two reference points. Then select spline through points. 
Then check his reference line. Repeat the process. Select the reference point. Pick at midpoint. Pick here. Select the two reference point. Then select spline through points. Then check his reference line. Select point element. Pick at midpoint. Go back to previous family. Load into project and close. Placement plane. Select level 1. Select place on face. First point pick here. Second point pick here. Repeat the process. Next, select the component. Go to Diameter and Associate Family Parameters. Select New Parameter. Select Instance. Name it Diameter. OK. OK. Go to NCP Fold and select Associate Family Parameter. Select New Parameter. Select Instance. Name it NCP Fold. OK. OK. Please note the maximum value for this is 0.49 to close, and 0.01 to fully open otherwise you get an error messages. Select the component, and associate family parameters. Repeat the process. Next, go to Family Types. Select New Parameter. Select Instance. Name it Attractor Divisor. Type of Parameter Select Integer. Let's group it under Dimensions. OK. Change the Attractor Divisor value to 20. And let's link the NCP fold parameter to the attractor by adding the formula attractor distance over attractor divisor. Open and close parenthesis over 5. Open and close parenthesis over 100. Apply. OK. Perfect. Go to View Cube. Select the top. Go to Family Types. Let's test the parameters. Change the diameter to 2000 mm. Apply. Perfect. Change the diameter to 500 mm. Apply. OK. Perfect. Uncheck Shared. Then check Always Vertical. Save the family. Name it. Adaptive Hex Star Panel. Save. Next. Open a new family. And select metric generic model pattern based. Open. Select point element. Then select set work plane. Set this plane. And pick the reference point. Repeat the process. Select this reference points. Go to filter. Check none. Then check reference points. OK. Change the offset value to 500 mm. Then select Associate Family Parameters. Select New Parameter. Select Instance. Name it. Offset. OK. OK. Then select Spline Through Points. Then check his reference line. Select Point Element. Pick at this reference line. Select the reference point. Change the NCP value to 0.1. Then select Associate Family Parameters. Select New Parameter. Select Instance. Name it. NCP. OK. 
OK. Next. Select this four reference lines. Then select Create Form. Select the surface. Select the surface. Then select the Divide Surface. Change the V-Grid and U-Grid number to 20. Go to U-Grid number. Associate Family Parameter. Select New Parameter. Select Instance. Name it. U-Grid. OK. OK. Go to V-Grid number. Associate Family Parameter. Select New Parameter. Select Instance. Name it. V-Grid. OK. OK. Go to Properties. And select the hexagon pattern. Turn on the surface. Pick this small arrow. Uncheck Pattern Fill. Select the Surface tab. Check the nodes. OK. Go back to Adaptive Hexagon Star Panel. Load into Project and Close. Placement Plane. Select Level 1. Select Place on Face. Pick 6 nodes based on Adaptive Points Number of Adaptive Hexagon Family. Pick this reference point as Attractor Point. Select the Pattern. Attractor Divisor. Associate Family Parameter. Select Instance. Name it. Attractor Divisor. OK. OK. Go to Diameter. Associate Family Parameter. Select Instance. Name it. Diameter. OK. OK. Then select the Repeat. Repeat the process. Perfect. Go to View Cube. Select the top. Select Realistic. Perfect. Go to Family Types. Let's test the parameters. Change the Attractor Divisor value to 15. And change the diameter to 80 millimeters. Apply. Perfect. Change the diameter to 100 millimeters. Change the NCP value to 0.8. Apply. OK. Perfect. That's it for now. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.